this is the Inspire one, of course. Uh, so we're pretty much going to go through what we normally do to set it all up if we were getting it just about after we got it out of the box. So we'll go ahead and, and move it down to a, a bigger landing pad for a remote. Uh, it's just a, like the Phantom batteries, um, you know, on the smaller guys, any of the bigger ones too. We're just going to tap and then tap and hold. And then I'll get my uh, gimbal pilot Nathan here to power up his because it's in a master slave condition mode. Basically, it'll ask you for permission from a USB device. Another press and then press and hold. It's going to initialize. The camera is going to do a, uh, a quick test to make sure everything's functioning correctly. The app itself, it's telling us we're safe to fly. We've got GPS. Um, just like Robert probably demonstrated on these, we don't want to fly until we've calibrated the compass. Uh, of course, that's a key procedure to making sure that the aircraft is going to fly safely. Compass calibration is done through the app this time, so it's not a manual switch on the controller. Um, so I just hit calibrate on the compass. It's going to ask me to uh, make sure there's no magnetic materials anywhere near it. I know we're good on that. So I'll hit OK. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's just the standard turn. And it'll turn green on the back. And then we'll pivot it down with the nose. And do the same rotation again. And we're good. And uh, so, yep, we'll go ahead. We'll take it up in the air. And uh, I'll show you guys what it's all about. <laughs> it's a remarkably quiet aircraft. Very maneuverable. Fast turns just like a phantom. But with a little bit more speed to it as well. 